Having a free, high-quality photo editor on your computer with a screen larger than your phone can be quite useful to enhance your photos more easily. And it can also help you to create new images and thumbnails for social media or anything else you can think of. So if you don't want to pay for an expensive program like Photoshop, I'll share with you the top five free photo editors for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number five is Microsoft Paint. Built into Windows, this program was released in 1985. For decades, it's been kind of a joke in the Windows community of how bad it really was. With the improvements and new features over the past couple of years, it's much improved. In addition to the various tools to edit your images, it has drawing tools for artists to make their own creations. There's also a new feature to remove the background of an image that actually works pretty good. And now finally, after all these years, it lets you work with layers, giving you more creative control for more complex images. Speaking of layers, you'll find them here on the right. If you've used Paint in the past, the first thing you'll notice is the user interface is a lot better and now has support for dark mode. The tools are located here at the top. There's an AI image creator, which is not free, but they do give you 50 credits to try it out. And this is where you can open and close the layers pane. Like I said earlier, Paint is built into Windows. If you're looking for something that is not overly complicated, give it a try. Coming in at number four, it's Photoscape X. It includes tons of features to enhance your images. In addition, it includes a screenshot tool. It allows you to create GIFs and collages and includes support for raw images. To transform your photos, there's a large set of tools to add filters and effects. Their cutout tool lets you easily remove the background from an image and there's several batch options for working with multiple images at a time. When you launch Photoscape, it shows you most of the tools that you can use along with tutorials. I'll go down the list and select borders. Clicking on the image to the right for borders will open a video tutorial in your browser showing you how to use that feature. When editing your photo, you'll find all the tools in the upper right. Just like the other programs that I'll show you, it's just a matter of trying out the different tools to make everything perfect. Photoscape X is available for Windows 10 and 11 from the Microsoft Store. They also have a paid version called Photoscape X Pro for Windows with extra features for around $40. For most people, the free version will be all that they need. And for Mac OS, Photoscape X is available from the Mac App Store. In at number three is Paint.net, which has been a favorite for many for more than 20 years. This oldie but goodie was first released in 2004 as a more powerful alternative to Microsoft Paint. It's lightweight and includes a ton of features. It supports working with layers. There are special effects to change the look of your image. And there are plugins created by the community to improve the functionality of Paint.net. It's improved quite a bit over the years and better late than never now has a dark theme. Most of the tools you would need are located in the toolbar on the left, in the menu bar at the top, where you'll find additional tools, including effects. One of my favorites is oil painting, which can be found by going to artistic and selecting oil painting. If you ever need help using it, their forum is a great place to get answers to your questions. Paint.net is only available for Windows. You can get it for free directly from the developer's website with the option to donate. Another option if you want to support the developer is to buy it from the Microsoft Store for a one-time fee. Before we get to our top two, here's some bonus picks for you. With the exception of one of these, they're browser-based and will require that you be online to use them. Since they're technically not software and can't be used offline, that is why they're not in our top five, but still worth checking out. The well-known graphic design platform Canva has a free online photo editor for creating marketing materials and social media posts. Pixlr has various web apps that can be quite useful. For photo editing, their two primary offerings are Pixlr Express and Pixlr Editor. Pixlr Express has around a dozen tools and is designed for simple edits. And Pixlr Editor includes around two dozen tools and is geared for more advanced users. PhotoP is a browser-based web app we've talked about numerous times on this channel. It would have definitely made our top five if it had installable software and not online only. It has a ton of features that closely resembles Photoshop, including the ability to save your project as a PSD file. Photor is another web app that's great for people needing something basic 
to touch up a photo with a decent number of tools. And the one exception in our bonus picks that is not browser-based is Adobe Photoshop Express. The free features in this one are great for those of you that need something quick and easy to edit your photos. It also has a good amount of themes, effects, and filters to enhance your images. In addition to its apps for iOS and Android, it's also available to download from the Microsoft Store for Windows. At this time, it's not available for macOS or Linux. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is the free and open source Krita. While this program is primarily geared towards artists that are into digital painting and illustration, it also has a large number of tools and features for image editing, albeit not as many as our number one pick. For advanced users, it includes more than 100 professionally made brushes built in, there's support for working with layers, includes vector templates from their library you can use in your projects, and there are tools for masking, special effects, filters, and a whole lot more. With the program open, you'll find most of the tools you'll be working with along the left. On the right is the advanced color selector, along with the ability to quickly add new layers. Pressing the tab key on your keyboard enlarges your image, getting rid of these sidebars, giving you more space to work with. It does have a high learning curve, and for beginners, some will find it overwhelming with a large number of tools and features available. Thankfully, they've included a manual on their site that will teach you how to use it. Krita is available from their website for Windows, Mac, and Linux. In the top spot, coming in at number one, GIMP is the absolute best image and photo editing software that you can get for free. This open source program was initially released in 1996 and is packed with tools and features often found in expensive software. It includes layer management support, has a large number of tools, advanced filters and effects, color adjustments, transformations, and is compatible with most of the popular image formats, including Photoshop PSD files. GIMP's layout has been described by many people as being clunky, especially from those that have been longtime users of Photoshop. There's a large set of tools located in the toolbox on the left. Over on the right is where you can find the layers and brushes. I personally prefer the floating windows layout. If you don't and you want a more traditional one window layout, in the menu bar, select windows and tick the box next to single window mode. Of the more than 400 videos released on our channel, GIMP has been the go-to image editor for a majority of our thumbnails. If you need help using it, they have tutorials on their site. We've also done a couple of beginner's guides that people say have been helpful to them when getting started. Links to those will be in the description of this video. GIMP is available on all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links to all the programs mentioned are in the description. If this video was useful for you, share it with others and give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments which free photo editor is your favorite. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff.